So I want to introduce an idea to you, and it's an idea that students have dealt with their whole life, but they don't know they've dealt with it their whole life, and this is the idea of vapor pressure. Now, this is going to be a qualitative video. I'm going to follow this up with a quantitative video on the Clausius Clapeyron equation. But I want you to understand qualitatively what vapor pressure is. So living in North Carolina, you are familiar with the idea of humidity. What is humidity? Students can talk about it, but they don't make the connection that humidity is water in the air. So if we have any liquid and we let it go to equilibrium, what's going to happen is that liquid molecules are going to jump out of solution and go to the gas phase. They're going to become vapors. Now, at some point, the vapor molecule will get close enough to the surface, it will get recaptured. And so you have this rate of molecules leaving liquid phase and this rate going back in. When the rate is the same, we attain equilibrium. Now, there is an ideal pressure because at this pressure, the number of gas phase molecules is going to be balanced out such, such that the number that go in equal the number that come back out. Vapor pressure is a measure of the ideal pressure such that the liquid is in equilibrium. It's not evaporating any faster than the liquid than the gas molecules are condensing from the gas phase. When we talk about relative humidity in North Carolina, what we're saying is that based on the current pressure of water in the air, how much more water we could we add? So if we're at 100% relative humidity, the air is saturated with water. So we have the ideal pressure of water in the gas phase such that the amount that evaporates is equal to the amount that condenses back out. If we have a low humidity day, so 95% in the summer, maybe something like 20 or 30% in the winter, what we're saying is that the air can hold a lot more liquid. So if we were to leave something out, it would eventually dry. Now you kind of get this from your experience. If we have a really humid day, clothes don't dry very quickly because there is, the air is so saturated or so close to being saturated that it really can't take that much water up. But on a dry day, put your clothes out, they dry really fast because the air is trying to attain this equilibrium. 